I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful snowy Monday and you are ready to study the word of God with me. So grab a cup of tea and open up your Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Let's focus a little bit on bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Now, there's a couple things that I quickly want to run through to remind ourselves of. First off, obedience is very important in the present stage as we have studied time and time again. Number two, if you remember in the book of Isaiah, the Bible tells us that God is a potter and he forms us as though we were clay to be the perfect vessel. And number three that I wanted to remind you is that we have an intimate and personal relationship with God. And out of his love, he continuously changes us and forms us and molds us. And that means our thoughts also. The the Bible tells us in Psalms chapter 94 verse 11, the Lord knows the thoughts of man that they are futile. You know, a negative thought is kind of like a bird. You can't stop it from flying around your head, but you can stop it from landing and making a nest. And so the things that we dwell upon that are negative, that are against the ways of God, are futile. They will not produce any fruit that is productive towards you. For example, the Bible tells us many times that He is our strength and that we should not have any fear. But because of the past or because of something that you've gone through and the things that you've seen in the world, when you hear a situation, your immediate response may be fear. And decision making is driven by fear. And reactions to things that people say is fear. And so those thoughts, those fearful thoughts, They can be like a bird hovering over your head, but what we are trying to do in this warfare is stop them from building a nest. We don't want these things to take root. The devil will always try and bring some sort of negative feeling towards you, but it is our responsibility to make sure that the things that root inside our head, the things that are rooted inside our head and inside of our heart stem from the word of God, not from what we see around us. And the Lord warns us about this, and he says it in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 14. He says, For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. So your thoughts, things that you think nobody else knows and nobody else does know, there is one who does know, and that's God. He knows everything, including every secret thing whether it's good or evil. And that's why just one verse ahead, it says, Fear God and his commandments, for this is man's all. We have been given a solution to making sure that our secret thoughts, the things that we do, every work that will one day be brought into judgment is following the commandments of God. And that's the most beautiful thing about God. In this personal relationship, as he is molding you and making you, he doesn't leave you hanging. He doesn't say, hey, this is something to fix and then leave you to try and fix it on your own. But he is there with you every step of the way. And that's why I had mentioned that this warfare is not by yourself, but we stand alongside God. As God is our support, as God is our leader, as God is our backbone, God is everything. We stand upon him and he helps us to become who he wants us to be. And so if we take this thought, um, changing our thoughts, and if we talk about that, if we talk about that on ourselves without the word of God, it's futile and it might be temporary, but those feelings and those thoughts will come back. However, the Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4, the way that God wants us to overcome. And in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, it says, Finally, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And so the Bible clearly tells us, it tells us that we need to make sure our thoughts are according to God, and God knows every single one of our thoughts. And that there's a day that's coming where our own thoughts will be brought up and questioned by God. 
So to make sure that when that judgment day comes and as we continue to walk in this world to, to correctly make decisions according to God, we should be continuously meditating on the things that are just and lovely and pure and good and that are praiseworthy. Continue to praise God and continue to meditate on your salvation and you will just see how much your thoughts change and how wonderful it is to think only of God.